The Commuter is like one of 47 train movies that's being released into theaters and is literally just Liam Neeson's nonstop, but on a train. I personally say that it's a rented and you should just watch it on your train ride to work since it's the length of that movie, but let me explain. We follow Liam Neeson before his family gets taken, working a 9 to 5 at an insurance agency where he seems to be in good hands. Every day his wife drives him to the station and he takes a train trying to save up for his kid's tuition until he gets fired. He meets up his buddy at a pub who just so happens to be his ex-partner since of course Liam Neeson was an ex-cop and they start talking about how corrupt the police system has become and they seem to be blaming everything on Chief Alan Grant over here and moan about how noble guys don't win. His buddy reminds him that he's gonna miss his train so like your mama running late, he rushes to it but forgets his phone. Train's completely stacked since it's prime time and Liam says hi to all the regulars as he finds a seat and comes across a non-regular. Lorraine Warren over here can still sense things because she knows that Liam's a cop and that he's in need of $100,000 that she offers him in a bag in the bathroom and all he needs to do is drop a GPS gumball into the bag of a person named Prin who he doesn't know what they look like. Cue the 90 minute game of guess who that he's about to play, even though he tries to get off early, but then that chick from the last episode of Black Mirror stops him and tells him that they're always watching him. So I don't know if this is like that episode of Black Mirror where this big corporation is controlling a bunch of civilians to do their dirty work, but I wonder if they have so many spies on the train already, why bother Liam Neeson's? After getting his wife's ring, he starts freaking out and nonchalantly asks Mike for help since he's about to get off. And then whoever's running this thing has an agent straight up Regina George him onto a bus. Again, if this corporation has so many people, why not find Pren yourself? Turns out that it's the government slash police force doing this because earlier in the news, a dude committed suicide who just so happened to have some dirty secrets. Obviously, he was really killed and Prince just so happens to be the witness who witnessed it all and has a hard drive with evidence. Prince is then put on this train to go see two detectives instead of them coming to them. And that's why Lorraine and her evil group want to kill the witness before that stop. Liam then starts tagging people who are going to get off at Zone 7 only for them to not be Prin, which means that he's getting innocent people murdered. Like, we're talking a dude who Liam tags and is actually an FBI agent and somehow gets killed by the jazz player on the train who's really an assassin for the people and he stoles them away underneath the train and no one sees this. Like, if y'all got assassins on this train, how can you not find Prin yourself? Either way, it becomes murder on the Orient Neeson and the police stop the train since they get a call that Liam Neeson has been acting pretty suspect. He bunks with the corpse so they don't find him. The train starts moving. He tries to Spider-Man his way back into the train from the outside, loses the 100k for his kid, and he's still gotta finish the movie. He messes with the AC so that way the remaining cast can all go to the last train. He has a one take old boy fight with the jazz assassin and big shots him out the window. And he finds that Prin is a random girl we saw one little glimpse of in the beginning of the movie named Sophia. Liam won't kill her like Lorraine wants to so she freaking derails the train. And I'm not saying that that Washington incident happened not too long ago but one. They detach the final car and for whatever reason, everything's okay. Two, they flip all over the place, yet none of them get a scratch. And three, they give no justice to the conductor man here who sacrifices himself. The cops arrive and they all think it's a hostage situation with Liam, so they send his buddy Patrick Wilson to go in there to calm down the situation. And dun dun dun, turns out he's the one who's been conjuring up a plan with Lorraine. Get it? Because... They're both in the- Turns out his buddy is actually the corrupt one who set the whole thing up because he wanted to help out Liam since he knew he could use the $100,000. Patrick then demands to know who Prin is so he can kill her. And I kid you not, all the passengers stand up saying, I am Prim, like they're auditioning for the Hunger Games or something. All of a sudden, they all got this Negan loyalty. This thing ends up turning into a scene from a Disney Channel original movie. His buddy Patrick ends up getting killed. They all get saved. Turns out the chief ain't that bad. Neeson rejoins the force to stop bad guys. And right at the end of the movie, he goes to Chicago to find Lorraine taking the Metra. Overall, I'd say these movies are, they're still all right. They're decent action movies for what they are, but they're not as good as they used to be. But if there's one lesson that you should learn from this movie and all of the others, it's don't ever travel with Liam Neeson's.
Thank you guys for checking out this video. As always, let me know your thoughts and what movies you want me to explain next that are coming up. Uh, let me know what you thought about this movie, where you think it ranks in all of the Liam Neeson movies that have been out there. Of course, Taken to me is still the best one. Nothing's ever going to beat that, but we'll see how long he has to go now that he's like in his 60s. Other than that, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you do, you will get a month's supply of commuter tickets on the Oriental Express.